I'm Helen Daffitt, I'm in Trafalgar Square today, we're at the um, mass photo gathering. I'm a photographer, not a terrorist, and I've been talking to some photographers here. So, I've met uh, Grant Smith, who has a story to tell. He had a, a run-in with the police in December, and also Sarah Ludford, MEP, who's the Lib Dem member of the European Parliament for London. Hello Grant. Hello, how so what, do you do? What, what happened to you? Uh, recently, it was early December, I was photographing a rather beautiful Wren steeple in the city of London. I was um, approached by a very aggressive security guard who wanted to know who I was, did I have permission, uh, and so on, to photograph the building. I told him as I was in a public place, I didn't need any of that, and he had no authority over me to ask him those questions. And, such a really Wait, aggressive were you manner. behaving suspiciously? No, I, I, I had a tripod, I have a spirit level, I have a, I have a rather large camera, it's this one, and it had a spirit level on it. It looks very professional, it's quite an expensive camera. Right. There's nothing, nothing surreptitious covert. about that? No, then. nothing covert about right. my activities at all. And uh, when I didn't give the security guard my information, the police were called, and three police vehicles and a riot van arrived to uh, find out what was going on. riot van? On. Well, they, 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 they were called because the security guard had told them there was a an aggressive male in the building photographing members of staff who had refused to leave. And that wasn't true, was None it? None of which was true. Perhaps the aggression was in my not telling the security guard who I was or what I was doing, but I had, he had no right to ask me those questions as I was in a public place. Um, the police then wanted to know all my details. They determined fairly quickly that none of these things were true, but they still went on to site section 44 and stop and search. Okay, right. So as, does this mean have, have you got a criminal record, or what's, what's going I certainly to you? hope not. I certainly hope not. Um, in fact, only two years ago, I served on a, a jury at the Old Bailey. So, <laughs> um, my, uh, you should I, be an upstanding citizen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You might have got out of jury trial now. <laughs> <laughs> well, funnily enough, about 190 years. Years ago, about 100 metres from that spot, an ancestor of mine was uh, arrested by the police for passing counterfeit notes. He got 14 years transportation to oh, Australia. Oh, you were lucky. So he never came back. <laughs> but no, I don't, local man, really. I don't know what happens to it, but I understand that information is, is uh, held and passed on to special branch. So. I don't know what, how long that's held for. It's an interesting point, actually. Uh, 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 you uh, need to follow up uh, yes. how that ought to be deleted, that, that information. Yes. Since it's an, an arbitrary misuse of anti-terrorism powers, as the uh, Strasbourg Court, the European Court of Human Rights, uh, has ruled recently, and shamefully the, this government is appealing against that judgment, but uh, it'd be interesting if you could uh, have the time to pursue it, and I'm sure you could trying to do a job, but yes. uh, um, pursue the, the, uh, the deletion of that information, uh, which is, um, you know, a misuse of anti-terrorism powers, they should be taken Absolutely. that information. I mean, does that affect, I mean, I want to go to the, the States, I'm going to New York at Easter time, yeah. will that affect my abilities to get a visa? Well, this is precisely, actually, the kind of thing that uh, I'm pursuing. I mean, where I come in is that I read uh, that grand story in the press, I had a letter um, published in, in the Independent, which is why he, he contacted me and I was delighted to come along today because I'm really grateful for Grant and his colleagues who are campaigning on this very important issue. Um, but you pick up on something which is very much um, among the issues that we're pursuing in the European Parliament. Um, yes, we're all for the exchange of accurate information which is based on real suspicion. And you know, the Christmas Day uh, bomber in the States, uh, President Obama has said that was a failure to connect the dots where you had real information uh, that raised serious uh, suspicions about someone. Then of course the agencies should get together and exchange that information. A entirely different matter is uh, in, in, in um, you know, stuff which turns out to be absolutely baseless, something like that. Yes. where you've been stopped in a misuse of powers and something that could go on your record could then be exchanged uh, across the Atlantic or with uh, you know within the European <coughs> Union across the Atlantic and with all kinds of actually dodgy regimes well, you're around a the world man now, aren't you? and you yes. are a marked man yeah. and it yeah. could lead to all kinds of unforeseen uh, ranging from inconveniences to serious impediments in your life uh, of yeah. refusal of, of uh, you know if you wanted like a, a, a professional visa or now actually the Americans are bringing in this, this kind of visa light this electronic travel yes. authorization yeah. 
and um, you know this is exactly the kind of thing that we've been uh, pursuing. You know we are become a society where freedom is seriously at risk mm. and, and we are slipping into an authoritarian police state I and mean, there's no yeah. other way of putting it. And, and, and I think too it's, it's fine to be vigilant against terrorism but everybody is being treated suspiciously yes, yep. and that is, is yes, absolutely yes, yes, right. You're, 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 you know? and, and I don't think what is wrong and in fact at times I've been challenged by security guards I've actually had working in the city I've had a couple of people have walked by and said he's not doing anything wrong you are the one who is behaving suspiciously yes, <laughs> to the security guard yeah. and there isn't anything wrong with this but it does undermine your confidence and it makes you feel like well should I be doing that yeah and and, and that's not good yes not good climate are they going to do it to people with photographic memories can they stop them too yes <laughs> to delete what yeah yeah in their delete brain. your brain yes. you know, that's Ooh, a, that's, that's you know nice. the big brother <laughs> yeah, the Orwellian society exactly yeah, yeah exactly. That, that, that's interesting I mean some people have photographic recall yes. don't they and so they don't do need do? to make any pictures will no. make any notes, they yeah. see it. You mustn't remember things. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite scary. Anyway. Well, it's been a really interesting conversation. Thank but you. Good luck tomorrow. Yes, thank and, you very uh, much. Sarah, thank you very much. Thank you.